Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I am Bob. It's time for another episode of Age of Wonders 3. Uh, I'm kind of closing in on Mogwai a little bit here. i got armies coming into this area, and I'm going to try to go after the seal, which he has taken since uh, Tomek lost it, which turned out to kind of help me out because Tomek already had some seals charges, and Mogwai doesn't have any yet. Um, if Mogwai was smart, he would let Tomek take it, but he's not very smart, so we're just going to let that happen. Um, Tomuk does have, I just realized, I was, for some reason was thinking this was Mogwai's capital here, but that's actually Tomuk's capital. I was wrong about that. So that's the Dwarf Dreadnought. Mogwai's might be back in that corner there. We will see. If it is, that really kind of sucks for them because that means Mogwai is super hard pinned in here. Um, I think, uh, man, I don't know. Like, why it would have, that would be like one heck of a bad spawn because like, you're absolutely jammed in the corner. Um, and I would be a little bit sad if that's how the computer did it because there's so much extra room that it could have spawned him underground. Uh, but we'll see what happens. It's weird spawns. Uh, I, uh, anyway, we're, we're, that could explain why I haven't seen much from him, but we'll, maybe more will show up in the, the coming uh, episodes. So in any case, uh, I have a ziggurat that I want to try to clear on this turn. And I have some units stationed here that have been watching that cave entrance that can help out. I'm going to bring in, uh, well, I'm going to bring in this cannon. And I'm going to bring, the, excuse me, this engineer. I also want two knights, both of those knights for sure. Um, actually, I want one thing I want to do is pop these guys underground to make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. Okay, we can go back up. Um, so let's see, a cannon, two knights, one engineer, and maybe both flame tanks? I'm going to say both flame tanks. So let's, let's take another look at what's actually in there. It was two manacle riders, a couple orc berserkers, no, an orc and goblin berserker, high elves. I, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring those flame tanks. This, uh, this might do the trick. I may, I may lose a little something here, but hopefully I can kind of use the flame tanks effectively to get catch a lot of groups in here. Now the flame tanks cannot shoot on turn one unless reloaded by an engineer. So the general rule of thumb here is run away and give the flame tanks time to warm up. Um, I'm gonna back the human off, the, the human engineer there. And let's see, that Berserker can really move, so I need to go way back, like to here, and hit the Berserker, and it will hit the Manticore Rider behind. I could also hit both of those two Berserkers, which might be better to soften up multiple Berserkers, because I can kill them faster. This flame tank can back all the way up. Same with the knight. Pretty much everybody. It's all about giving those flame tanks time to get ready to do their big AOEs. And they have bundled up very nicely for me. All right then, well, um, I don't see how I could pass this opportunity up to just roast everyone in there. Uh, oh, I don't know why I didn't reload the tank on the left. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, I'm going to rapid... Re can the tank reach this spot? Yes, or the, the tank, the cannon. Okay, so I reload the cannon. And I want to move him here. Get all three of them caught in that blast. I can then move... What's the cone on this thing? I can never remember. Okay, it's kind of a thin cone that sprays... Out like that, so I want to move him. Uh, will it reach the one in the back if I move? It will. If I move here, it should reach all of them, like everyone in that stack. Oh my gosh. They're just getting roasted. Okay, and then this one I think should also hit everyone. Yep. And that just leaves the two Manticore Riders, which my knights can go pick a fight with and try to keep them off my siege. Okay, 
We'll see what they do next. Alright, then that pretty much seals this battle. Um, I believe the flame tanks can use that from point blank. They can. Absolute Manicore Rider Barbecue. That was easy. Okay. I got a go Ooh, I got a gold wyvern egg. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to have to take that. I don't know if the game will last long enough for me to make use of it, though, because I have to hatch it. It might actually be better to just take the money, to be honest. Fire and blight protection. That would give me healing. Those are good items. On the off chance the game takes longer than I am expecting, I'm going to take those rewards. Those are both pretty nice items. Um, yeah. And I think I'm going to send both of those to to the dwarf. I keep wanting to call him Tomuk, but it's Venom. My dwarf hero, not theirs. Uh, I probably need to clear out some space. Let's get rid of that extra gun. I don't think I'll really ever use it. Um, she's got those sabotage, that sabotaging equipment. Probably that won't ever get used. Uh, let's see, the boots I'll keep, because those can go to a hero once I get them back. And how about Benham? He's got the cap. He's also got an extra gun that I'm going to probably get rid of. An item that gives cure disease. I'm going to send... I'm going to get rid of that Black Bolt wand. I don't need that. And I'm going to send both of these to Benham for now. He'll probably benefit more from being mobile since he's a warlord. Okay, so those items were at this ziggurat here. Okay. So that takes care of that, nice and easy. Uh, I could probably go do the same with that group if I moved them down towards uh, that. I could clear the Heart of the Blight, maybe even clear the dungeon while I'm down there. I can't imagine that if they can handle that, they're, they're going to be fine handling whatever these other things throw at them. Um, on that note, I'll move these two back over here to keep just a full stack of six on that cave entrance and this guy can continue to build his road which is going to go down there and then from this point maybe start thinking about possibly more forts uh, i just don't know where because i could put stuff out there but i would have to also send things to clear stuff out there so no, actually, he should stick around with the machines for repairs. He's actually the only thing here that can repair machines. Since my druid is off, or since my dreadnought's off somewhere else. So yeah. He can stick around. Uh, the priests I want to keep coming down this way, because we need to block Mogwai's aggression in this area. Hopefully me closing in on his capital will cause his troops to fall back, play a bit more defensively. And you guys, uh, just guard there, that's fine. That capital's probably gonna just do merchandise for a while. I think uh, that's it for this turn. I should probably be casting a spell. Um, there is still a lot I don't know about that underground area, so I'm, I'm going to get more spy drones. But I'm trying to think, do I need mana fuel cells anywhere? I've got it on the important cities. I actually probably don't need it on my capital anymore, but I'll leave it there just for the moment in case I change my mind about whether I'm going to build anything. Um, could put it on the goblin city, but they really don't need it much beyond that observatory, because I'm not going to commit to a grand palace in that city. Well, hang on. It's a city. It'll grow into a metropolis. It'll get one. 
The observatory will get it two. Stone walls would get it three. So maybe I'll just do the stone walls. I think I think this city will be up long enough that it probably would benefit from mana fuel cells for a little bit. So I will go ahead and do that. No, wait. Cancel that. Abort that. One of the problems I'm running into right now is that my hero's army is a little bit outnumbered. So having spy drones extra to just use to run in and blow stuff up might come in handy. And I have quite a few, uh, but I think I could use more. So I think I'll just keep summoning spy drones to use as basically just bombs to kind of help soften up targets in this area. Because I think these guys, given that this is all that remains of these groups, they're going to need the help. Um, that cannon could probably... Oh, wait, no, it can't move anymore. All right. Let's quick save again and uh, carry on. Okay, that's apparently the best defense he can muster in there for now. Do have a domain invasion. I think that's... Uh, I think that domain invasion is the Frostling City that Mogwai was running towards. If I'm lucky, he turned tail and ran because of stuff going on down here, but I don't know if I'd count on that. Computers really do like going after those undefended cities. They have like a sixth sense. His turn took a long time if he only had just a few cities. So maybe he has more than what I was thinking. It took longer than Tomuk's, and I actually thought Tomuk was a lot bigger. All right, he took it with one unit. That's fine. We'll get it back. I'm going to have those priests. We'll, we'll play uh, a little careful there. Have the priests catch up. I want this... Before I decide what to do with the Sphinx, I want spy drones underground to explore just a little more and see maybe what else I might be up against. So... That is his capital over there. Wow, what a crappy spawn. Look at that. Edge of map and then your neighbor. That's like the worst Age of Wonders spawn I've ever seen. Apparently, maybe in the future when I'm doing these, I might need to limit it to one computer spawning underground. Because I think it has something to do with the way the caves are laid out. Because there's a lot of areas you just can't put a city in. So it can do funny things like this, where if it was in the overworld, I think they would be a little bit better spread out. But at least now I know where all my forces need to converge on. If, I mean, enemy capital, enemy capital, and then the only remaining seal right in the middle of both of them. So this is it. This is the area where the rest of the game is going to be focused on. Um, he does have... Let's see, he does have three guys there and four more in the city I'm gonna move him back over here we'll get this spy drone up over here just with these four in there I should be fine for sieging this city although it's a little annoying because I can't get everyone in on it Although, I, I can get it this turn, because I just have to leave out the cannon. And that's okay. I can still take it with these guys. Okay, there's a little bit bigger army. He's using it to defend that seal. I don't really need uh, the spy drone to come in after this just yet. Uh, this one... I'm going to have go off and explore in this direction. If I can get to this river, I'd like to start filling in more of the underground between this and the other cave entrance that I'm aware of up there. So yeah, you go this way, explore, and make sure nothing is sneaking up on me. Another fairly useless race governance. We'll just accept that. Take the economic one. Suppress nature. Spelljammer is next. Okay, in this situation, we want Resurrect Hero. We've got 
there's a that's one related to my okay these two are both related to dreadnought this one is related to my cla my uh, earth specialization so I want to research one of the two dreadnought ones um I think Forge Blast might be the way to go. I don't really see Spelljammer being that useful because because I'm up against a Warlord and a Dreadnought, spells aren't going to be a big deal. If Artica was still in the game, maybe, but I, I, I see Forge Blast as having more potential here, so I'll get that. It is going to take a little while to research. Fortunately, I did just grab an observatory uh, back here. And... I think I'm going to work on the the stone walls. Yeah. Let's get those stone walls up. This, I, I don't know. This, this city, I mean, I'm still going to get the stone walls in it. This city might be worth just upgrading and getting the Grand Palace in. Um, it's got a lot of production, so it could do it very quickly. In fact, this city has a ton of production. I'm only just now realizing that. But it's got two quarries and it'll have a dungeon. That is a lot of production. That is pretty good. Alright. You guys get down there and, and get to work on this stuff. So that dungeon can be ready. They can stay there. I need to, I need to start right-clicking on these. Join offer, join... Oh wait, one of those was an alliance proposal. That was the elves down south somewhere, I think. Now I don't know where they were. Oh, it was these guys. Um, you know what? I will go ahead and purchase another vassal. That's fine. It's a little expensive, but I'll take the extra passive income. Okay, I already know about that. Spy drone. Oh, wait. Yeah, another spy drone is ready. And I'm just going to summon that on my hero's army here, my leader. I may as well use that to attack the city since it has more movement than anybody else. And we'll take one away from, we'll knock one off of Mogwai's uh, list of cities. Okay, we've got Nothing that I need to be too concerned about. Just got to keep those cannons loaded, and I can actually probably... Oh yeah, that's going to obliterate the poor, those poor guys. Yeah, they, they're going to have to come to me. Those wooden barricades aren't going to do anything. Can I move a little bit to get around that rock? That would be great. Yes, I can. They didn't appreciate getting shot up from a long range, so they're coming out after me. But it doesn't really matter, because I can just back up and keep shooting from long range. Okay, so I could go one space further back and still hit everything with that cannon, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, you're good. Uh, you could use a reload. And blast them. And you could just blast them. And you just shot, so you need reloaded. Oh, I'm not even doing anything with these guys over here. I guess you can come participate. 
I actually need to give Guardian Flames to that Sabertooth Chariot to help heal him a bit. Speaking of a Sabertooth Chariot, I'm gonna talk about doing something nice for him. The Goblin will just throw poop at him. Yeah, he needs healing. He has for a while. Alright, I want to get rid of that Phalanx now. Two cannonballs should do a decent amount of damage to it. Let's back it up a bit more to stay out of his range. You are going to have to reload yourself on this turn. You can have a little help. They just can't make it to me. You know what, if you want to come hit the Yeti, that's okay. Good gosh, I mean, guys. It just keeps hitting, like this, this poor Sabertooth Chariot has just had a rough go of it. I'm, I'm gonna leave him on defense, because I don't want... I don't want him dying <laughs> if it does it again. I wonder why this guy back up here just kind of stopped. He sort of just gave up. It was like, nah, this isn't worth it. I don't feel like getting blasted by a cannonball. Well, unfortunately, he's not going to have much of a choice. All right, who wants the XP? If any cannons can reload themselves, I guess now's the time to do that. Is the engineer a throw net? I think it's a touch ability, even though it says throw, yeah. I'll just have Jasmine do, oh wait, hang on, Jasmine can repair. Yeah, go do a repair on something. <clears throat> Aha, your first strike doesn't matter if I assassinate you. All right, that's uh, another city under my control. They're dropping fast. That's what I like to see. I'll continue to just uh, absorb them, I suppose. Then what do I want to do? Because I'm this is a little weird situation now, where he's got a decent sized army over here, and a decent sized army here, and I can't. I've got time. I shouldn't do anything reckless here. He's got like 24 turns before he can win the game with a seal's victory i can let him sit on that for a little while while i i bring in reinforcements but sending these guys off now would probably just get my army swarmed and killed because mogwai is going to have just like a numbers advantage what i really need down here is some flame tanks that would help out a lot i can i'll just kind of pile the everybody else together and sit here and see maybe maybe he'll react maybe he'll react to what i'm doing and try to organize some sort of a counter attack um i can't afford to build anything up here on this turn so let's just do merchandise get another cannon on the way down and can i get the city for free here yes i can just walk in and take that perfect now, what about the other one? I guess I'll keep riding. Fastest way appears to be through there, so that's what I will have him take. And in the meantime, I think I'll just sit this priest in this city over here. There's another uh, node that I can convert there, so I'll, I'll get that. Actually, let's abort. 
support that. I wanted another spy drone down there with uh, my leader. Okay, I still have 30 casting points, so I may as well. There. I can get, uh, I can transform that on the next turn. We'll absorb that. This one could be really nice because it's got a trading post. And this guy needs to get back over here to kind of help these units out. I think the way, with what's going on with my leader right now, I'm going to leave this Sphinx up here just to help get the city back. And then hopefully the defenders that are coming in can kind of hold it. Actually, I don't really have a lot more coming in in this area right now. I think, to be honest, most of the rest of my army is probably going to come from the other direction. Possibly from this cave entrance or this one. I'm not really sure uh, which one, whether it'll be that or this. Where does this one go again? This one drops down right above Tomuk's capital. So if I can build a big enough force of just siege... I may be able to hit him from both sides kind of at the same time and maybe split their forces. The only big problem I'm running into right now is just money. I'm trying to get around that a bit and some of the stuff I'm doing to help. I have more income now that some of the stuff I'm doing is helping. I have more income now than I've had at any point in this game, but I, I still need more. Um, those stone wall or those wooden walls will get done on the next turn, and then I should be able to build stone walls immediately after. I have enough production to do it in one turn. That'll get me uh, more gold from that ziggurat, and then I think I can just put this city on produce merchandise until it grows. It'll get even another gold mine. This city will generate a lot of gold for me. I just need to uh, let it grow. Um, for the moment, yeah, I'm going to pull that sphinx back and have him help make sure I get Artica's former city back. And this guy is going to just generally hang out here and patch up any machines that may need help. health. It's like 76. They're at full health already, so that one could use a bit of damage repair. Let's drop one of the knights out of there and see if I can get... Yeah, I could get him in there. He does have... No, he doesn't have emergency repair. Crap, I didn't build him in a city that had a master's guild. He must have been one I built in my capital a long time ago. I think I did. I think I built one in my capital a while ago. So he can't actually repair that. That's a bit of a problem. I might want to... If I can afford it on the next turn, I think I might build a builder in that city just so I have another one. Um, I guess for him, well, I would say build towers, but right now I don't really have the money to spend on anything, so I'm just going to have him wait there this turn. Okay. You just can let me know when you're ready to talk, even though I'll probably never formally absorb you. They're actually ghouls. They're leftovers from Aaron Goth's country, I suppose, his domain. All right. Another quick save, and then on to the next turn. I like how I used to have so many issues with crashes, and then as soon as I started quick saving it, it almost never crashes anymore. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing, though. I guess I should be flipping underground to see what Mogwai moves around down here, huh? Very likely defeat. Okay, Tomek found my spy drone, but I can actually evade him here, I think. It's kind of like a lost soul battle, I think. Unless he uses spells. And I kind of don't think he will. Because the computer's going to look at this battle and think it should be easy. I actually wouldn't really mind if he did use some spells, because he could just waste some of his mana. But 
but nope, he's just gonna let that happen. All right. What is this? Oh, cheap. Okay, I can't. I cannot do anything about this. I can just surrender. That's a cannon. <laughs> we can't fight that. I'm thinking one thing I, I should work on too is getting more human cavalry and then upgrading them to knights. I never did finish the Hall of Chivalry for my initial plan to doing that. At least I don't think I did. Right. Drop another save and then let's look in here. Yeah, I never finished that and I don't really have... Whoa, whoa, I, I did get a big surplus of money. Oh, Praise the Leader Festival in the city that I just built to generate gold. Beautiful, alright. Well, I actually do have enough money to afford that now. Okay, I'm actually going to do this, I think. Um, what level are these guys being produced at? Trooper? They could get veteran, human race governance. The next human race governance up would give them expert. Wait, hang on. They're already being produced at Trooper, and I think that's because I have the Riders Hall, right? The city does have a Riders Hall, I think. Yes, I did give them the Riders Hall. So... That's where they're getting their first medal from. Human Profit Military would get that up to Veteran. And then the Hall of Chivalry would get it to Expert. Human Profit Military is still a little ways off, I think? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's that's actually a good path to go down. I kind of want more humans race governance. I may want to make more human cities. It'd be expensive, though. For now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, splurge a little bit. I'll get that Hall of Chivalry, because I think in the long run, I really am going to rely a lot more on human knights and mix them, mixing them in with my machines. So let's let's go ahead and splurge a little. We got the money. And even then on the same turn I can I can afford to make a bit more siege. Maybe another flame tank is in order. Oh good, and a tribute from this city as well. Gold's looking good this turn. Transform to Earth Node is ready. I'm going to get that on... I think, which which city? I think it was the... I think it was one of these that I just got. Yeah, it was that one right there. It'll help out a bit even more with research. And that does leave me with enough money to get stone walls here. To get that ziggurat in there, in the borders, on the next turn. Also, I get to smush some independence now. And by smush, I mean really smush. Shadow stalkers don't even scare me. And they're scary things. Alright, let's do this. I can just burn them with fire. They don't like that. <laughs> uh, well, there they go. Did that get your attention? can that shadow stalker move could I possibly yeah this would be safe
Yeah, I hide behind your rock. I don't care. You can't reach me. You still can't reach me. I'm gonna actually go ahead and let that cannon reload itself. Okay, good, it got another level. And here they come, okay. Burn him. To a crisp, please. Eh, who wants XP? You do, I think. Could also give it to the engineer, actually. They seem to struggle with getting XP. I really would like to have emergency repair on a few of these guys. Okay, there's a heart structure under my control. Let's go clear a dungeon. This army is uh, kind of... They're, they're kind of pretty tough. Come on, go in. There you go. Uh, yeah, this is... This is easier than the last one I did. The only thing is the shape of the battlefield might change this one up. Although, they're not charging me, so I guess I don't have to worry about the pillars. Can you reach? You can. Alright. Come on out. Your little hiding spot. Now these guys, actually, you know what? I am gonna back up. I am gonna back up. I want to draw them into these little crevices because hopefully it'll cause them to bunch up a little bit more. Definitely want to back up one space further. Ooh, good, a crit. That's what I like to see. Keep that guy loaded. I like this setup a little better. The only thing I'm not sure about is... Yeah, okay, so the flame tanks do still get blocked by obstacles. That's too bad, but... It's okay. We can work around that. What I can do is... I can pull the cannon back the absolute max distance that I can. We'll finish off that manacle rider just to get him out of the way. Then I'm going to draw the Berserkers in with the Knights. Keeping the flame tanks packed away in the corners over here. Something like this. They might go after the engineers here with the Berserker, but they could only hit them with one. And then I could try to tangle them up. I just want them to come out into the open. Okay, they want to go after those flame tanks? That's fine. Don't really want to roast my own knight. And yeah, maybe I should have gone after them because now they're getting mixed up with my troops. Um, it's probably fine though. I've, well, for one thing, I can try to net this guy, which would be, there we go. That makes things a lot easier because now that knight can freely move. And because that knight can freely move, I can freely flame. And he can also get a devastating charge. From here, the flame probably won't even hit him. Oh, it will. 
All right, well, I'll do something a little different then. I'll do that, and then we'll just ram. I think that will kill him. Oh, I low rolled it. Okay. That is not great. The engineer could finish him off. Oh wait, but the, well, the, okay, that guy is stuck. I forgot, I did succeed in getting him in the net. So I'm just gonna ram with the other flame tank. I'll move. Might have that guy just rapid reload himself. I got Demolisher, I don't like that. Go here. Face this way and rapid reload. That knight can handle the Berserker, I think. Can he handle two? I don't know. I may have just asked a bit too much of him there. Okay, they wanted the cannon. And they made a good run at it, but they didn't quite get it. All right. Flank around, please. Those guys still ensnared? One more turn, yep, okay. Uh, engineer can pick on them. Flame tanks do a lot of damage just with the ram, too, so there's that. Can you shoot? Yeah, he can. He's not technically engaged here. Okay. That makes this easier. Unicorn Rider, Sabertooth Chariot, 121. This one I'm okay with selling. I'll take the money for that. And I think that's it for this city. I think I've cleared everything I needed to. These guys can head back. It has occurred to me that having a Master's Guild here would probably be useful just to make it like a place where machines can repair, since this is such an important, uh, important choke point here. All right, can I get everyone together? Uh, wait, they can get just northeast of that farm. He can get just northwest, so yeah, close enough. And if I'm sneaky here, I could get this guy in on it. As long as I end his turn on the mountains, I can actually see. They still only have just one phalanx in there. Oh, wait, no, they've got all these guys. Okay, that actually might be okay. Um, they, Especially if they go after the spy drone on the mountain, if they use their units to do that, it would leave the city wide open. I think they may fall back to the city, um, in which case I don't know if I have the resources to dislodge them, but we'll see. For now, uh, for this group, I want to get that cannon with them. Um, let's drop the spy drone and get that cannon with her group. So they're all with the engineer. And then it's like a, a waiting game, kind of. Like I, I've got all these forces here, but I don't know that they're strong enough to push on anything. Let's take another look at what's in his capital. I could kill the stuff in his capital. It just... I'm a little worried he'll swarm down with those units. How far down the road can they run on this turn? They can run pretty darn far. But if I move 
here, I can't get completely outnumbered. Because they can't move... Because the wetlands will slow some of them down. So I could move to the bridge. Yeah. I think that might be what I end up doing. I'm going to try this. Tell me you can get to the bridge, right? Okay, we're going to have to drop that cannon again because it's slowing everyone down. It can go with them. They can move forward. I'll add a spy drone to there and there. And I'll move this one back to keep an eye on that other group. Right there. And we'll see if we can provoke a response or isolate the units in the capital. Because if it's just these guys, I'm pretty sure I can take that. If it's any more than that, probably not. Sorry, guys. You camp there for the remainder of the game, probably. And we'll get that cavalry down there, hopefully the next couple turns. That builder probably could be making more useful roads, but I just don't know that the area is safe yet. One path I would think, I do think I would like to have a road is maybe through there. You know what? Let's work on that. Okay, looking good. Um, why not cast Suppress Nature? I mean, no. We'll stick with the spy drones for now, just in case I get start getting uncomfortably surrounded down here. But I think my plan here is good. As long as they don't have a bunch more units just pop up out of nowhere. But I think because the seals are a victory condition, they're going to commit a lot of units to sitting on that. I would kind of be surprised if they abandon it, but then again, apparently Tomuk did at some point because it respawned a bunch of defenders on it. Unless it just pushes you off every now and then anyway. I'm not sure because I'm not really familiar with seals games. My assumption was that if you left units stationed on it, you would retain control. But um, if you left, then independence would respawn. But maybe independents respawn and force you off either way. That could have been what happened. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong about that. Anyway, let's go to the next turn. I think he did create another unit there. Where is Mogwai himself? That would be good to know. Okay, he's got like a few stacks there. Is that him? No, that's uh, one of his leaders, or his heroes. He completed Sage. Which one is that? I think it's not all-knowing. Sage is something else. Wait, some of them just abandoned ship. Well, that'll make capturing his capital all the easier. What did he just do? Why is there like a little crown symbol above the city? Oh no, that's just a sign that it's his capital, I think. For some reason I was thinking his leader showed up in there, but no. That's wishful thinking on my part. Alright, back at it then. Which one was Sage? Oh yeah, be first to research a tier 6 skill. Okay, he got two secret spells. Good for you, bud. Um, I don't know if I want to try to do that battle in this episode or the next one. I may save that for the next one, because that could take a little while. Let's maybe do this smaller battle here and get the city back. 
got a draconian mounted archer. Interesting. Okay. What about those other units? Where did they go? You know what? I'll probably find out when I move into the domain of that city to capture it. That's wetlands. Is this... Yeah, they're both wetlands tiles. All right. I'm hoping they didn't sneak all the way past and go down that cave entrance. I may need my spy drone to go double check that. Because I want to know if I'm being surrounded. But if they went north, the city's borders should be able to see them after I capture it. Alright. This should be pretty easy. Two human priests that can heal each other, a sphinx and a flame tank that can roast both of those guys. I'm gonna back up a little and try to force them closer to me. Your wall is gone. Part of it anyway. Oh no. Right. Uh, I'm gonna move up a little bit more. Yeah, make sure we can catch that dwarf in this shot. He should come running out now. Um, how much damage will you do to that archer? More than he's doing to me, so I guess that's all that matters. That Axeman just gonna sit there and take it? They, they're behaving very strangely. Okay, well, he can patch up, you can patch up. And I'm pretty sure that Sphinx can just fly behind that thing and that guy and kill him. Yep. All right, did they go back north? They did not, which makes me think they went this way. They did not. Where did that other group go? Oh, they're in the mountains here. I didn't even see... Oh, crap. They're... They went right past me. I would have taken them on first if I had known that. I just lost the... The blue is kind of hard to see and all the other icy colors and stuff. Uh, well, we'll have to chase them down. It's just gonna take a minute. Yeah, they're just going to walk into that city. I could just start summoning a bunch of spy drones in it. I mean, that actually may be a legitimate option because they can't reach the city on the next turn. So I could get four spy drones in there. And if I'm very careful with how I use them, I may be able to blow up most of those guys. Okay. I don't have a better plan, so why not? I don't really have anything better to spend my mana on at the moment either. Okay, let's try absorbing the city again. Okay, good. Uh, he got his egg. And I'm going to give... Oh, yeah. This is good. He can. He now has healing, so hopefully I can keep that saber tooth patched up a little better now. Stone wall is finished here, so I officially have a heart of the blight, and uh, the dungeon and the ziggurat all in the domain of the city. That is very, very good. If I can expand the borders a little more, I get even more gold. So uh, I can do that in. The city will grow naturally in a few turns, and I think that's the way I'm going to handle this. Um, also, anything that gives this city happiness. Public baths would be good, I think. Um, they're a little miffed about the 
Arctic down there, but I think public baths would be good. Let's also give them some wetlands because they are goblins and they like that kind of weird thing. Flood fields. Don't want to spend too much mana because I need some for spy drones, but I think something like that's good. Just help them out a little bit. Also should probably clear the forests and stuff. Anything else that slows down movement. What is the quest that you want? That is actually a pretty nice reward, but um, I'm kind of busy. So I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry. I could pay for them to become a vassal though. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do that. That's been paying off. And there's another thing I can convert, although I can't do it right now. Okay. I'll gladly take more vassals because it's overall growing my economy. Slowly, but it surely is. Okay. I think I'm gonna tell most of these cities that are asking me every turn for to join. I'm gonna have to start doing this. I don't really need them. I've got enough cities that can make enough units right now. All I need is the gold they're providing me, and leaving them as vassals is probably getting me more gold in the long run. Got the domain invasion. There's the another flame tank done. We'll have to produce merchandise here again for a turn, so that's fine. And you can come, come on down. This is looking pretty good, I think. I'm gonna just leave them there. What else can I do here? Is there anything else I can do to get this city prepared? It's already got stone walls. It probably already has the Frostland Glacial Totem, but that doesn't really help me because it's just going to chill the enemies. No, there's nothing else. Although, I should be selling these, so hang on. Yeah, I can sell those for extra money. I just noticed there's the class buildings thing I was talking about. Forgot again. Um, I'm going to get this guy positioned on the mountain because he can't make it all the way to that city on the next turn anyway. And I don't want him walking into the borders in case something else is in there defending it. All right, then we're back to these guys. So that's going to wait for next episode, guys. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and drop another quick save we'll wrap this wrap this one up here uh thanks for watching this is getting really interesting i'm really enjoying this game i like how it's forcing me to be much more aggressive and the the um kind of strategic points of the map with the seals and the, all the choke points and stuff is making things very interesting very fast paced game but i'm having fun with it i hope you are too thanks so much for watching everybody i appreciate it um two more episodes to come this week i will see you all in the next one Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Braden, Dawson Horner, Jimbro, Sarah Feingold, and Tarsac. Thanks so much, everybody.